to the virtual room room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I'm bringing another shading video. And my choice of soap today is going to be from Australian Private Reserve, and this is Passione. The scent of this, well, the intention behind the scent is a bright, fruity fougere, and he hit it out of the park with this one. Um, it's funny, actually, because although quite often on the surface of scents, you look at it and think, that's, that's going to smell like women. If you looked at this, it probably would. However, there's something Dan does with his scents that regardless of any scent he makes, it's very masculine. And this definitely fits that bill as well. This is in his V2 soap base, which is his last soap base. He doesn't have a soap maker anymore, I think. So this this is what we're gonna be using today. I'm looking forward to this. As always, in the description, there's going to be the scent notes for the scent, of course, and then the, uh, the write-up, which I do put quite a lot of effort in. Voice crack there. Um, our razor today is going to be the Charcoal Goods Level 2 with the hammered handle. Inside this is a 19th use wisdomet blade. And our brush, which we've already loaded, is the Mozingo Brushwork ZT2 with the cool mother of pro handle. Um, I want to discuss something, like, briefly. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna harp on this for the whole video, because I don't really want to. More often than not, in fact, I've been doing this for over two years. And I have had conversations with people where they have said to me, why are you buying X from Y? X did this to Y, if you know what I mean. So basically they're saying, why did you buy from this artisan? Because they're fighting with this artisan and I like this artisan. I respect what they're saying, but quite honestly, I couldn't give less of a shit. Um, the bickering and the drama is really fucking annoying to me. And I try to keep my distance. I, I, I just don't, I don't care. Um, I judge people based on the interactions I have with them. I don't care who's done X to Y because quite frankly, you don't know, you don't know the whole of the story. Um, as a kind of like product user or somebody brings these videos, my aim is to use the products for what they are, not so much all the bullshit tied behind the company and et cetera, X and Y. The reason I use APR Sense isn't because I like the artisan. I don't really know the artisan. It's because I like the soap and I like the scents. That's all that matters to me. Um, is it something that needs to be taken into account? It depends really what you're going for. Um, I find if you end up buying things based on who doesn't like who and who doesn't get on with who, you, you're going to have a small amount of products to choose from because... <laughs> The artisans in this community can bicker a little bit, I have to be honest. The scent is lovely. But no, that, that is something to, to bear in mind. I, I don't care about the politics of shaving. Like, in the slightest. Like, all I care about is this community moving forward and getting on. If, if there's anything hindering that, it's hindering that, and I don't care for it. This is a nice brush, I have to say. The, the scent on this is probably a 6 out of 10. Maybe higher, maybe 7. Nerdy squirt bottle in hand. Really building this lather. <laughs> My last few lathers have been quite short. I loaded pretty heavy here, so I don't know how possible that's going to be. It doesn't matter. See, I try and stay away from the drama. The drama doesn't interest me. Um, there are some people in life that will try and pull you into drama. My advice to all of you is to just bat it away and stay away. It's not worth your effort. It's not worth any bullshit. 
I use the products for what they are and that's all that matters to me. If the product sucks, then the product sucks. I'm not insulting the product. I'm not insulting the artist. I'm insulting the product. In fact, I'm not insulting anyone. I'm just giving feedback on products. Quite frankly, I don't use many products that suck, which is fantastic for me because I, you know, I, I choose things based around my preference. Not something, it's, it's funny because what you end up building if you've been doing this for long enough is you know what works and you know what likes, what you like. And someone uh, I actually really admire in that aspect is DK. Um, DK keeps scents around that he doesn't like just in case he comes back to them in a while and he ends up liking them. That's a really cool approach and quite frankly, something I haven't thought about personally. Because what you're doing is you're kind of seeing whether your preference for scents changes, whether you start to accept certain scents. Most of us at the start can't appreciate something like Fuji Gothique, I don't think. I think that's the sort of thing you grow into. This soap is really good. It's not like a new soap base or anything. I've always enjoyed it. But yes, judge people based on the interactions you have with them. Don't judge people based on what other people tell you about them. That's my advice. Because although they have a reason to potentially dislike them, you don't yet, in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, you can treat people how you want to treat people. That's the way I like to approach things. I don't see the point in, you know, creating or giving myself barriers when there's no need to have barriers. My, my prerogative and my intention is to move this hobby forward for, for a couple of re reasons. And I, I don't lie to you. One, I work for a company in wet, wet shaving. And the more wet shaving benefit, or the more wet shaving grows, we benefit from. Alternatively, I have a genuine passion for this hobby. And even if I wasn't in wet shaving, I want it to be as big as it can possibly be. And the way of doing that is everyone coming together and doing what they're supposed to. With the same goal in mind of trying to improve and trying to make things better for, for the consumer. Very nice. This is awesome. So, really nice scent too. I have to say. So with that out of the way, let's, let's get on with the shave. How are you guys today? I am doing pretty well. Moving is well underway. Or at least packing is well underway. It is what it is really. At this point, I've been planning to move for so long that the packing is actually a bit of a relief for me. I understand why a lot of people hate moving, but just the, the chance for a new beginning or a new start somewhere is incredibly appealing to me. So I'm not dreading this process. I'm actually pretty much looking forward to it. Awesome. Okay, chocolate goods level two. Let's get to lathering, or not lathering, I just did that for an hour. Let's get to shaving. Great slickness on the soap. Scent is prominent, not too prominent. It's definitely there. APR have a lot of scents that have quite a bit of staying power. I don't know if this will. That remains to be seen. Very nice.
It's very easy. Funny, because when you've been using straight razors, going back to a DE just feels like cheating. And again, I drop the soap. Never drop the soap. Yeah, going back to DE just feels like cheating to me, which is quite funny. Really nice slickness in between passes here. This is a good soap base. It's not the newest, as I said, but definitely is more than good enough to get the job done for me. I don't go for like this big lather on this pass, it's just not necessary for me. Just something that is slick really is necessary. This is awesome slickness. Really good slickness. And uh, DE just feel like cheating. They're just so easy to use. <laughs> For me, of course. Gonna be a quick one today, I think, guys. Let's do a bit of cleanup. I really like this uh, soap. I have quite a few of these and they're all really nice. Bit of clean up here. I don't really aim for BBS, you guys know I don't aim for BBS. I, I aim for just over par, really. Because I'm planning on shaving tomorrow. And I'd like some hair to shave off. Although on the occasions where I have shaved for BBS, I do have, you know, enough hair to shave the next day. But why would I bother pushing it? This is no point. I don't have to meet the queen or anything. And that's what leads me to say, if like going against the grain is uncomfortable for you, you don't have to. My advice would be slightly change the direction you're shaving. So kind of, for example, if, if against the grain is kind of like straight up, go horizontally up, don't go straight up. You might find that it works better for you. Still gets you close, but it doesn't give you that irritation that's annoying you. Let me get this on the face. Tear up the gear, and I'll see you for the post. I'll see you soon. Hey guys, it's post shape time. What are we gonna use as a post? So, I think we're gonna use the uh, Singari Man's Unscented Rescue Potion. It looks like that now, but give it a shake. And then it turns into this really cool milky white color. <laughs> I really like this stuff, it's fantastic. Let's get this on the, on the hands. Don't need too much, just... Again, this is alcohol free. Awesome product. Works really well for me. 
fantastic. What a shave today, guys. Great shave. Okay, so I'm going to show you what we used, and uh, I'll let you guys go. So, Passione by Australian Private Reserve. Sweet, fruity fougere, but still very masculine. Really nice scent. I do recommend it. It's not the easiest to get a hold of, but you can get a hold of them. Razor, Charcoal Goods Level 2 with the hammered handle, three inches long. One of my favorite handles, really cool razor. Brush, Mozingo Brushwork CT2, custom badger brush. Post, Zingari Man Unscented. Rescue Potion, really cool product. If you liked the video today, guys, and you know around here, please consider subscribing. I'd very much appreciate it. If you did like the video, give it a thumb up. If you disliked the video, give it a thumb down and tell me why. I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. Apart from that, my name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Groom Room. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day.